Hello everyone, my name is Code Freak. Welcome to my channel. Please be sure to like and hit the subscribe button below. Today's video is part 5 of my tutorial about making original music without knowing how to play live instruments. In this video, I will be covering information about drum maps for use with drawing in notes for non melodic virtual instruments. If you prefer to use different software than Cakewalk, feel free to adapt my tutorial to the corresponding settings in your DAW. Everything I've said in parts 2 and 3 of this tutorial series applies to melodic instruments in the piano roll view, such as guitar, synth, and piano. Although that information can apply to non-melodic instruments, like drum kits or other forms of percussion, for those instruments it's typically better to use drum maps. Drum maps are essentially a labeling system for different notes on the keyboard that you can organize. They may seem like a small thing, but drum maps are useful as shortcuts that can make virtual percussion instruments take considerably less work to use, as you don't have to memorize what drum is assigned to what key in the regular piano roll view. The biggest reason to create drum maps in the first place, in addition to providing convenience when writing music, is that, at least in Cakewalk, you can save drum maps as presets. That means you only have to create a drum map once per virtual instrument. For this tutorial, I've set up a new project with an instrument loaded with a drum kit. To start, let's open the piano roll view. There is a hidden section where the drum map notes are shown. To see this, go to the blank spot between the center grid and the timeline here. When you see the cursor change, click and drag the mouse down to reveal a blank grid and empty box, similar to the MIDI properties at the bottom. Now go back to the MIDI track in the main track view. You should see a drop down box with the letter O on it, located here. This is the output for MIDI. Left click on this menu option. If you have an existing drum map, select the menu option New Drum Map and select the one for the instrument you are using. If you don't already have a drum map set up, you can create one. To do this, go into the same menu as before and left click the option labeled Drum Map Manager. You can also get here by going to the Preferences menu under the MIDI section and left click the option labeled Drum Map Manager. Make sure the View option for the Preferences menu is set to Advanced. Once in the Drum Map Manager, go to the top of the window where it says Drum Maps Used in Current Project and left click the button labeled New. This creates a drum map. However, as you see, there are currently no shortcuts within it. To add a shortcut to the drum map, select the drum map you want to work with. Under the box labeled Settings for DM1, where DM1 is the name of the drum map, select the button labeled New. You will see several settings you can tweak. Look in the regular piano roll view and find a drum sound. After you find a sound, Look at the key and octave the note is. For our purposes, add the corresponding number to the in note and out note sections. The math is as follows. Each octave is 12 notes starting from 0, so if your note is in the 4th octave, or C4, the MIDI value is 12 times 4, or 48, plus the amount of notes it takes to get to the MIDI note you want to use. In other words, if the MIDI note you want is E in the 4th octave, or E4, the value you put in the drum maps in and out boxes is 48 plus 4, or 52. You can name the note whatever you like. I recommend naming the note something you can remember that matches the type of instrument. For instance, a kick drum would be named kick, and different hits on the snare would be snare rim, or snare open, and so on. Make sure the channel and out port matches the settings of the virtual instrument you are using. The most important thing is to name and save the preset, so the next time you use the virtual instrument you're working with, you can load the corresponding drum map without having to re-enter the values for each note. Now that you've created the drum map, select Apply and OK. Go to the output on the MIDI track you're working with, and select the name of the drum map you want to use. Then go back to the piano roll view. 
When you bring up the drum map section I mentioned earlier, you'll see the name of the MIDI note you put in the drum map, followed by a new row on the grid. If you set up the drum map properly, you should now be able to draw a note in that row and the corresponding sound will play. Depending on the instruments you use, the notes in the drum map can also be affected by the MIDI properties box, covered in part 3 of this tutorial. You now know all the common features you need to know in order to draw music on the computer. Thank you for watching this tutorial series. Check out my social media links in the description below, and stay tuned for future videos. See you guys next time!